So my role at the club is as a member of the Board of Trustees, I'm also the Chairman of the Green and Grounds Committee. As the Chairman of the Green and Grounds Committee, it's my responsibility to be the liaison for the Board with the Green and Grounds Superintendent um, and to make sure that the Green and Grounds uh, Superintendent as well as his team have all the support that they need in order to make sure that he can execute our strategy and vision of what we want our club to be. And I also field questions, comments, concerns, ideas from the general membership and try to see what we can do to affect them. So my favorite golf events, I have a lot of favorite golf events at the club. I am fortunate that I live on the fifth hole and uh, I'm actually very passionate about the game of golf. So I take uh, advantage of as many of the tournaments as I can. But I think probably the McMillan is my favorite, which is our three-day men's member guest. It's been running for probably close to 70 years now. And what I love about it is I think it shows the best, those three days shows the best of what Essex Fells Country Club is all about in terms of our spirit, in terms of our hospitality, in terms of our camaraderie, the way we welcome our guests. We have guests that come and play year in and year out. I believe there's one guest who's come for 30 some odd straight years. Um, and over the years, my guest has gotten to know members, gotten to know other guests, and they run into them in other places, and it's, it's really special, and it uh, kind of extends the entire family of Essex Fells. And uh, we allow the guests to um, have their spouses or significant others take advantage of the pool and tennis during that weekend, so we really get to show off our entire club, and obviously the food and drink is plentiful, and everybody just has a great time. So most of my family members play golf, uh, my immediate family members as well as my extended family, and they've all had an opportunity, immediate and extended, to take advantage of experiencing Essex Fells. Um, but in particular, my, my two children uh, play. I think uh, they would uh, say that they played because they wanted to spend time with me when they were younger, but I think secretly they really enjoyed the game. My daughter used it as a, an opportunity to actually play high school golf and uh, she, was a, she was a good little competitor in, in high school. Um, and I think she's got a love and appreciation for the game. But like all big 20 year old kids who are working, it's tough for her to find the time now. But hopefully someday she'll get back into it. And then my son who recently graduated college, he's been playing golf uh, probably since he's three years old. He loves the game. He's very, very competitive. He's very good, uh, takes every ounce of mental strength as well as physical strength and ability now to beat him. Uh, I think I still have the, the edge given the fact that uh, I play the father card, but uh, I think that's only for maybe another year or so. So we recently hired, after, after 24 plus years, we recently hired our uh, new green and ground superintendent, Mark Meadler. Um, we went through a very extensive process to make sure that we picked the right individual and I'm happy to say that we are without a doubt 100% uh, confident that we picked the right gentleman. Uh, Mark is, is a real special superintendent. Uh, besides being one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet, he is so passionate about what he does. He's already built a great team of people. Um, and what he's so good at is making sure that we're constantly moving forward. You know, one of the beauties of Essex Fells is we have a, a pretty rich history and none of us want to lose the history of who we are and what we are, but as the game changes, as the world of golf and country clubs change and people's time commitments and what they can and can't do change, we need to make sure that we are constantly evolving and changing to be the best that we can be. And Mark gets that. Um, he really does, and uh, what he's done in a short period of time in terms of the conditioning of the golf course, the playability of the golf course, um, trying to make it fun for everybody at all levels of the game, which I think is important as well. So we need to make sure that everybody can enjoy it. And he has a good, full appreciation and understanding of the entire club as it exists as a country club, not just a golf club. I mean, our, our pool is an extremely important facet of our, of our club and our community. Um, and as well as our, our rackets, our rackets program between tennis and platform tennis, a lot of people call it paddle, um, as well as the introduction of pickleball and other things uh, has uh, really 
taken on a new life within Essex Wells Country Club. So Mark is responsible for taking care of all of that. Um, basically from the outside of the clubhouse walls to the exterior of the property, everything from that point is Mark's responsibility. Um, well, maybe not as big as some other pieces of property for other clubs, it's still a pretty massive piece of property that he needs to be responsible for. And like any other piece of property, it's a living, breathing thing, so every day there's a new issue, whether it's a broken pipe or drains or bad weather conditions that we have to deal with, and he does a great job, and his, his staff is great. He's done a great job of motivating them, um, and some of them have been here a long time, so he's had to re-motivate them. And uh, I, I think we're really, we're really poised for, for great things. I would say that Essex Fellows is in a transformational period of time, and uh, he's helping us make Essex Fellows just an absolute gem of a place to be. We, we built a new driving range last year, so that would have been the, the uh, 2017 season. So if you think about Essex Fells Country Club with a history going back to 1896, we had no real dedicated practice facility. Um, we, we had made great accommodations over the years to allow people to practice on certain days, on certain holes. Um, but when you think about today's world and you think about how people have just every moment of their calendars booked to the, to the absolute minute. Somebody having to figure out, oh, is today Tuesday between four and seven and I can go use the driving range or is it Saturday after seven and I can't. Um, it, it was a real burden and it was absolutely, in my opinion, the only thing that we were missing at Essex Fells Country Club to, to really showcase how great this place is. Um, so after a lot of years, a lot of time and money and studies, we brought in Reese Jones and his company, and they came up with an, just an incredible plan to be able to use the property that we had, because there was no opportunity to go buy new, new, new property around us, we're, we're landlocked, and without destroying what makes our golf course special, he rerouted a few holes, and we have a great practice facility. And I will tell you, I think it's transformed the whole club. Um, it's become the hub socially uh, for the club during the day. Um, for all members of the, of the club, from the children to the women to the men, uh, young, old, working, retired, uh, it's just a great place to, to go hang out, hit balls, work on your short game, work on your driver. Um, our pros have had an added benefit because they could spend time over there with their, their quote unquote paying golf lesson clients but also get to look in on maybe somebody, maybe a member they gave a lesson to the week before to see whether or not there's any improvement or whether or not they're actually uh, able to remember what they were supposed to be working on. So it's a great amenity to our club. It was, a, it was a unbelievably necessary amenity um, and when you think about competing in a very um, densely populated country club area around here in this part of northern New Jersey, um, I think it was something that uh, without a doubt we had to do. We spent a lot of political capital getting it through the membership. I don't think anybody was opposed to, to it in principle, but anytime you're talking about changing the golf course and uh, spending money of that magnitude, it was, it was a significant decision and people had to really process that, that whole thing and, and think about it and know all the answers to, to the questions they had. I think, I think the board did a very good job of laying it all out and what, uh, what it could do, what it should do for our club and I think uh, two things. One, I think without a doubt it's lived up to all of those um, expectations, but we were very, very conservative with regards to not taking a build it and they will come approach. So the driving range was not predicated on needing 25 or 30 new members in order to fund it. Um, it's something that we had the financial resources to afford with the membership that we currently have. And I know for a fact we have new members as a result of that driving range. And we have reinvigorated members as a result of that driving range. People who otherwise not might not make it over here as often are here a lot more as a result. So it's been a great amenity and I hope and believe that it will uh, continue to give back to the club for decades. 
So when you think about a club that hadn't had a dedicated driving range for 100 plus years and uh, you just assume we have no place to practice, but we actually have uh, 22 greens on property. So if you, if you take the 18 greens that go to the regulation golf course, we, we still have four other practice facilities for uh, our members and guests to use, um, which allows a lot of flexibility in terms of time, in terms of shot, and quite frankly, in terms of what you're looking for in location. Um, what used to be our short game area and our only short game area is, is a much quieter area now than it used to be. So if somebody's looking to be sort of off on their own and just focused on their own uh, lesson plan or trying to get away from it all and just enjoying it a few minutes of hitting sand shots or chips, um, they can do that. They can go to the short game area that's been built at the new practice facility. Um, our main putting green is uh, also a uh, an area that uh, is uh, well received and, and people use it a lot and it's not unusual to drive by here at dawn or dusk uh, and see people out there on it trying to squeeze in a few extra minutes of practice time so uh, we have a, a fair amount of places for people to find the time and the, the, the resources they need in order to work on their golf game and we all know that one day you think you have it and the next day you sort of lose it so it's all about practice, practice, practice. Well, if I was going to, if I was going to have to explain Essex Fells Country Club to uh, an outsider, whether it be a prospective member or just somebody who's, who's not, a, not a member and wants to know about Essex Fells Country Club, it, it's our membership. And I know that that's sort of cliche, but we have a wonderful golf course. Is it a championship golf course that will hold a Ryder Cup someday? Absolutely not. But it's a beautiful golf course, it's a challenging golf course. We have great golf professionals. We have a wonderful clubhouse facility. Is it brand spanking new like some of the other ones out there? No. Is it have every modern amenity that possibly could be imagined? Absolutely not. But we have a wonderful building with wonderful facilities with great service, great food, and a team of people who care. And you could say the same thing about our pool and our rackets facilities. We've got great facilities, but you could find better. There's no doubt about it because in today's day and age, everybody's building everything new. But what you can't find better, and I could tell you this from experience because in my career I've moved a lot. I've moved 11 times in my professional career, and therefore I've joined a lot of clubs and quite frankly spent a lot of money on initiation fees over the years. Um, you cannot find, without a doubt, you cannot find a better membership. And that's something that people talk about, but I can tell you we put it into action. When you are part of Essex Fells Country Club, you are part of this family, you're part of this community. Um, you are always welcome, your family is always welcome. The fellow members would go out of their way to help you, regardless if it had anything to do with the club. If you need help, you need something, they're there for you. It is a great, group of people and that goes from the oldest members we have to the youngest members we have it goes to the the longest standing tenured members to the newest tenured members um, and I think there's a there's a, a vibe and a spirit here that's palpable when you're when you're here and you, you just experience and you get it and I know people who come as my guests and they just shake their head and they're like wow I can't believe how everybody is at Essex Fells Country Club and how great everybody gets along. And you can't put a price tag on it. It's very difficult to measure that. Uh, but I can tell you it exists and I can tell you that uh, it's consistent and constant. And um, it makes for a very, very special place.